What's going on, everybody? Got in a little while ago from the J&J All-Star Show out in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm going to have to go up to one of his shows in Fishers, Indiana. Talked to a couple of dealers, and they're telling me it's a lot better selection for what I'm looking to buy and stuff like that. So we'll probably have venture up that way in April. Uh, start in April, I'll just start setting up at his show monthly just because I have a lot of value stuff uh, for the value boxes and that. But overall, really good show. Uh, I believe every table was pretty much sold to get in there. So really, really good uh, to see that many vendors into one area, as always. I walked around, seen some stuff, stuff I liked, stuff that I thought was too high because you couldn't find prices on to it. You know, you have to look for similar stuff. But I did pick up two cards while I was there. First one is actually for somebody. Uh, part of a little trade we did. So I picked him up an Ozzy Smith Cardinals uniform out of 50 tops tribute. I think this was 2022. Yeah, 2022. So pretty cool card there. And then the other one. Yeah, both are actually baseball. Ronald Acuna. This is 2022 triple threads out of 18. I like just the, you know, how they have these cutouts and stuff like that. You got a little bit of a bat in there. Two color jersey. Nice look of card. Um, there was a couple other cards I was looking at, just, I just really didn't want to make much plays today on a lot of stuff up there. I was more just, uh, I guess you'd call me the chatty Kathy of the show more than anything. But walked around, looked at stuff, uh, you know, trying to figure out, hey, what do I want, when do I want it type deal. You know, there's just a lot playing right now, uh, with sports cards. As everybody knows, Collector's Universe just bought SGC, not PSA. I got a kick out of everybody saying PSA bought uh, SGC, and it really wasn't. It was the bigger umbrella. But, yeah, pretty good show overall. Good selection across the board. There were a few dealers that had vintage in there. You had value stuff across the board, which I did go through. There's just nothing in there that I could really use. Um, new stuff. People had some of the newer wax. There was guys that had the vintage that had older like, stuff. Like, I seen Dick Tracy. Um, boxes and stuff like that so if you know remember dick tracy back in the day there was like boxes of stuff like that uh, i didn't see gi joe so uh we can't send any gi joe boxes off to bbce to uh authenticate for us but i mean it was just a nice you know kind of like old mentality type show today in there but I I seen some people selling some bigger stuff in here, which is always good. Um, money was flowing, so that's always a positive when you're at the shows and stuff like that. But yeah, if there are a few clips that I did from the show. You guys should take a look at it. But yeah, there was one guy I bought these from. He had a Lemieux autograph, and I purposely brought very little cash with me today. Uh, I <laughs> sure to show after he finally comes back after eight or nine months of not being there. He had a Lemieux autograph, Bobby Orr autograph, Barry Sanders autographs, more Acuna, more Soto autographs in there. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other Hall of Famers he had in there. I know Soto and Acuna are, but th there was a couple others. There were Larry Birds, but he had a good selection. I've been missing people like that coming to these shows that have stuff that I really like and I can always trade with people or sell later on down the road, possibly great, etc., etc. But that is it. Like I said, good show today and everything like that. Good turnout both for dealers and for the, I guess you could say the buyers, browsers, you know, people walking around, the public themselves. So, yeah, I mean, parking lot was full. I left there around, ooh, I was probably the show for... Two and a half hours. I wanted to stay a little bit longer, but I had to get stuff done back here. Uh, going through boxes and stuff like that. But, yeah, really, really good show. Again, if you're out that way next, the first Saturday of the month in April, I will be set up. I think I'll have 10, 11, something like that. I think those are four, four row. Yeah, four row boxes, just full of stuff uh, to dig through value boxes. All right, guys. Appreciate you all watching the video. I'm out.